I'm Bill with Giant Hydro and today we're going to be discussing CO2 and why we would like to use it. Basically CO2 is what the plants need for helping with photosynthesis. The outside, uh, your natural CO2 is between 3 and 400 parts per million of CO2 and that helps with the photosynthesis with the sunlight and, and so forth the plant can photosynthesize and create all the energy that the plant needs to live. If you are indoors it's good to create the CO2 and there's different ways of doing it. Um, this is probably the, the most simple which is 20 pound CO2 bottle and then you have the CO2 kit. This particular kit um, contains the valve assemblies and so forth and you and a timer so you would set your timer for 15 on 15 off but when it first comes on and you only want your CO2 running when the lights are on. Um, it doesn't do any good when the lights are off. There's not a whole lot of and transportation at that point of uh, the energy from CO2 helping with the photosynthesis. So basically, yeah, you would set through your uh, CO2, your, per, your, your level of parts per million is like 1,200. That's your, probably your best growing CO2 level. And if you set this for 15 on, 15 off, you're basically guessing that you're at your level and hoping that that's working. Or you can use a CO2 monitor like this. This particular one, you set it at the parts per million you want the CO2 to be at and it'll open and close the valve and maintain that throughout the time that you want the CO2 running. This makes it the easiest. This make, is a little cheaper. This, is, this, this particular device here can be you know, a few hundred dollars for this, but um, in the long run I think it's worth it. It's worth it to have that kind of control. So again, the, the CO2 is, is kind of important. If you have a room, the room does need to be sealed real well and you cannot have exhaust happening when you're CO2ing the room. You can have air moving in the room which help, actually helps the CO2 get onto the leaves and so forth and the light and everything else will help the plants uh, possibly up to 30% uh, yield better than if you had not used CO2.